Okay, I want to continue on the same test case that Dave showed in his video. So I asked Dave to send me a step file of his assembly. So I can open the step file and treat it as a non-native design inside Solid Edge. So right in the importation process we have a, a first round of cleanup and healing that is done. Okay, let's do a save on this one. So the first thing I do for this one is probably establish relationship between all the components. So we'll use the assembly relationship assistant. Select set 1 against a select set 2 and remove the ground from select set 1. So first select set will be the 4 support or the rod and on this one here. And I want to detect the axial align and the mate. In some cases it's preferable to do one by one but in that case since it's a simple assembly and I got not too many parts select. Let's go both at the same time. So it will recognize four axial align and four mate. So accept, close and finish. And the next step I want to assemble the top three. Accept on two rod. Accept mate align process. Got two axial align and one mate. Accept, close, finish and save. Now if I look at the tray here at the bottom and I exit that tray, you will see that by default my solid edge was placed as order and mode as the default environment. So if I want to move this as synchronous, can right click and move this body to synchronous. Or what I will do, because I got multiple parts that I want to move as a synchronous, is I will close and save my assembly and use the convert command so this way I can select my assembly I can process everything if there's one I don't want to translate I can still say no here but in that case everything will be processed close and open back the assembly so instead of doing one by one as I get inside each of the parts in that case I decide that I go in batch and update everything and convert everything. So it's it in place. So now my body is become a synchronous instead of traditional file. Let's hide the previous level. One thing I realize is that paper 3 is not centered on its reference axis. So usually I prefer center my body. So select the body, select the steering wheel, place it at the midpoint of an edge, and let me activate this one to show you something. So if I try to move in that direction or along that arrow, you will see that Solid Edge is not able to perform, say, this edit cannot be complete, enter your desired value, and blah 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 blah. So if you take time to look at the live rule at the bottom, you will see one in green. The one in green is the one that is recognized by Solid Edge. So it recognizes that some face are co-planner with the base reference plane, and those are fixed in space. So simply remove that green button, or uncheck and then you can do your move and make sure you select I got multiple points at this location so let's go with vertex 
vertex space and probably I can do the same thing on the other direction so midpoint that arrow and I want to move to right click in that case vertex space okay so now I got a body center on my coordinate system if I pick this edge and I pull on this one we see that solid edge is able to recognize the symmetry between that face and the one on the other side so that's good I probably want to maintain the offset here so I will use the offset command so one face was already select he asked me for the second face this one here accept and the lock icon here will make the offset persistent so when I accept persistent relationship will be stored in the pathfinder probably I can do the same thing this face here accept based on this one here accept escape so at this point if I pick my back face here and decide to move in that direction then everything will move and I will be able to preserve the original design intent so that was the easy one the other one is if I want to stretch on the other side so let's go with let's say left view yeah. uh, let's hide the coordinate system for now so if I try to pick all those face here I try to move in that direction will receive a operation unsuccessful so there's two things happening in that case the first one is the one that Dave mentioned when you saw that see that little icon here it's the quality of body may be improved so if you go to inspect and say optimize want to optimize that body say finish and when we look at what happened 1236 B surface went from 10 to 0 so B surface are organic surface so as you know organic surface and synchronous are not uh, fully recognized are not there yet so when we can have analytic surface is much better for synchronous blend I went to 0 to 10 uh, what else I got ellipse 8 to 0 so we try to convert ellipse as much as possible as circle or analytic curve intersection so we add intersection and the spline try to convert the spline down to 0 so we convert some of the spline also into analytic curve as much as possible so I say OK I try to do that same move so again got a problem but we see that I can move a little bit but not that much there's a, a range that prevent me to move so this is due to if I go to inspect inquire element this surface is a B spline surface so it's kind of an organic shape and organic shape in that case doesn't recognize the mirror on the other side by default so if I go with the selection manager on that face I say here and I say recognize symmetry around XZ 
you see this one has a face that is being recognized if I do the same thing on whoops if I do the same thing on that surface here recognize around B surface or B spline or organic face is are not fully uh, implement for the symmetry so what we do and it was easy to spot so when you look from the top you look at that face is not really a, a oblong it's between an oblong and whatever egg shape it's look and it's not perfectly cylindrical so so to come around this we're going to create what we call a rigid set so I want to pick that surface of course if you know that the symmetry fail because got this kind of situation sorry if I move the part around it's just that I want to work with this in the front I could select the face and simply remove the symmetry and try to move that section of the tree by half of the amount that I need then go on the other side and do the same move on the same distance okay. and of course if you disable all the live rules or remo you remove constraints or your model it's a little bit more free to move in any direction but the goal is to try to preserve the design intent as much as possible so keeping things symmetric in our case it's something we want to do so let's create a rigid set between the center and this one here and as you create rigid set it will be stored inside the pathfinder so the same thing as the offset so rigid set inside outside except rigid set this one this one except and rigid set this one this one except so in that case now I can select the face so I got a good body I got my organic shape or B spline shape Regroup, regroup with another one I will reactivate my symmetry and then when I move on this one here by let's say 25 you see at this point everything move correctly so let's go with 25 millimeter and then I can close and return of course it's possible at the assembly level let's save this at the assembly level something doesn't work pretty well because the bottom tray is larger than the top and Solid Edge tried to resolve everything but wasn't able to do so so let's edit the top tray and do the same thing this one is in synchronous we know we want to optimize So if there is a developer somewhere that work that want to develop a solid edge apps that will do an optimize on select set, that will be a nice feature to develop. So you want to 0, 12, 14, 12 to 0 for B surface, 0 to 12 for the blend. And for this one here, 12 ellipse to for intersection up to 36 and spline down to 0 select the body let's go with midpoint here and move this vertex base that's good and pick this one here midpoint and move this 
vertex space. Whoop. Did I pick the right one. So let's validate if I pick this one. Will I recognize the symmetry? Yes. So what I need to do is to add the offset. Whoops. Offset will be here. So offset with this one here. This one would be persistent. Sorry if it's not a Walt Disney demo or something. It's a little bit more technical, so probably by working this out a little bit I could make it a little bit more flashy or bell and whistle say accept that's good so far so if I try up oh, it's already select in the back so if I pick this one here and I move so this one is symmetric that's good if I go on this one here let's hide this guy here so I the the base sorry the um, coordinate system because I want to make sure I don't I won't select it in my fence selection so if I pick this one and I try to move I guess I will have the same symmetry error as previously yes that was kind of predictable for this one so let's do our final step inside, outside, accept so inside, outside, accept so inside, outside, accept so inside, outside, accept Okay, do so now we should ready to go. Select this, move in that direction. Now the symmetry is working. Twenty-five mil millimeter. Sorry, is good. Close and return. And as you see, once I finish it, did the top three everything is back to normal. What is interesting is at this point I can go in let's say left view, I can go and fence select this, so I want to move and whoops what I've done okay yeah I wasn't priority to face I was priority to uh, part so if you look at the lower right side of the cursor there's a orange icon selling part priority what I want to select is face so I simply control spacebar and I change to fence selection so fence select once the face are select I want to move in that direction I think it will be time for me to clean up my PC a little bit unless the record take a little bit too much oh, sorry unless the record take a little bit too much memory but let's say 25 millimeter and accept here we go so I got something that is 25 millimeter plus 25 so it's 50 millimeter bigger than it was so same thing from here I can grab that face I can use the selection manager to someone to grab that face and everything that is co-planner to that face say so accept and if I pick this one here and I stretch by 25 millimeter oh, a little bit faster in that direction so accept so now this is how I modify my paper tray probably I want to select everything here 
and say I want to move this probably another 25 millimeter too enter and you see respect the symmetry in that case too so the other one move at the same time so I guess give you a good overview it, I think it complete what they've wanted to show as editing import part editing import part yep and if you have question just comment on the blog article or visit solid DNA slash SE community and you will get more information over there and from there you will also have access to the Siemens community um, to get the official site of Siemens. So thank you.